Hello and welcome back to TW 2016. I'm here with my draft era save. And here's how we're going to do this series from now on. Okay, I'm going to try and keep up with where WWE's at. So this is the SmackDown before um, SummerSlam, obviously. And I'm recording this on the day of the SmackDown before SummerSlam. And I'm going to do it like this. The SummerSlam episode is going to go up on Saturday. Monday night, the Raws and the Smackdowns will go up on Wednesdays and Thursdays. And if there, whenever there's a pay-per-view, it will go out the Saturday before the real-life pay-per-view. I want to keep the series going in the real time with WWE, but I'm going to record them before Raw and Smackdown. They just won't go up then. I want to try and record them before so I don't keep ripping off WWE and have it be its own thing. Anyway... Now that we've gotten through that, let's go through. I think I have four pre-show matches. Yes, four pre-show matches. First one is a cr Paulo Cruz and Kurt Hawkins. Cruz wins. Eh. It wasn't, it wasn't horrible. This did better. Bray wins. This did better than I thought I was going to do. The Ascension did not drag it down as far as I thought. Anyway, good job, Usos. And a good match between these two. I expected it. Alright, I expected this. To kick off SmackDown, hype video showing John Cena is going to team up with American Alpha against AJ Styles and Breeze Dongo in the main event tonight. And Zack Ryder loses to John Morrison in John Morrison's return. Uh, come on, John. Come on, John. <sighs> anyway, John Morrison says, Good try, kid. But you don't have what the Tuesday Night Delight has, and that's, well, talent. John Morrison going back to being a heel. All right. Bringing the, bringing the ratings back up here. Dolph Ziggler is backstage with Shane and Daniel. Ziggler says, why don't I have a match tonight? And Shane says, well, we thought you and Ambrose deserved the night off to be ready for this Sunday at SummerSlam. Ziggler says, Ambrose might want it, but I don't. I, a while back... Baron Corbin beat me, and I want to prove to the world that I am better than him. And Daniel says, fine. And Dolph, that match is next. So, Callisto, no, not Callisto, Apollo Crews was on commentary for this match. And Dolph Ziggler wins with a super kick, wins clean. And after the match, Dean Ambrose comes out. Z well, not, not yet. So, so, Ziggler says, Dean, if you were a man... You would go to Shane and Daniel and request a match for tonight. Ambrose's music hits, and he comes out, and Ambrose says, I have nothing to prove, because I'm the champion. But you know what, Shane, Daniel, send someone out, and I'll beat them. And then they send out, um, Aiden English pulled a good rating. Good job, Aiden English. Um, English got hurt. Either way... Dean and Aiden English had a great match. Really good match. Dolph was on commentary. Yeah, I saw. Anyway. So a video hypes Shelton Benjamin and Charlie Haas, World's Greatest Tag Team versus the Vaude Villains for the pre-show at SummerSlam. Alright. A music video is shown to promote Randy Orton up next. And then he has an eh match with Miz RKO. But afterwards, Brock Lesnar... Hits the ring, F5s him, Randy after a couple suplexes. Security comes out, getting the raw guy out of there. Good segment, good segment. All right, good job, Becky Lynch. She, Becky says, that Eva, this Sunday you'll have, you'll see what happens when you piss off the last kicker, because I'm gonna kick your ass and become the first SmackDown Live Women's Champion. And they have a bad, these three have a really bad match. Um, Alexa Bliss beat, beat Carmella after extraction from Natty. I haven't decided whether that's going to make the pre-show or not. Eh, probably won't, to be honest. Alright, a video hype sh sh thing for AJ and Cena this Sunday. And not a good main event match. Luckily I have a main event segment after this, but not a good match. AJ Styles defeated Chad Gable, 450. Tyler was the weak link. Eh, Tyler wasn't involved in the winning team, so he, sh he should have been able to boost himself up a little bit. Fandango. Oh, crap. That looks like... That sounds like it could be a bad, like... 
SummerSlam match ending knee injury. Cena win. Cena attacks, a lays AJ out with an AA. Kind of, you know, just revenge for last week when AJ laid him out with the calf crusher. And the show got a 78. Not bad. Not the worst show I've ever done. In the save. I feel like I... With one show, I take a step forward. The next show, I take a step back. This one was kind of just... Raw, I took a step forward. SmackDown, kind of stayed on the same level. Stayed on the same level. Um, let's see what's up here. Fandango is injured. Kota Bushi is relocating. AJ South has an opinion with Tyler Breeze. I think so too, AJ, but... Kota Bushi? Sustained a... He wasn't... He didn't wrestle. Was it... I guess it was a live event. He was on for the Raw roster. The Raw... A Raw live event. Huh. Let's look at medical now. Who is out? Coda's and Aiden English are not out for any specific amount of time. Fondango is though. That Okay, Fondango is out for twenty eight days, but that's a whole month. A SummerSlam match is gotta be cancelled from because of it. Um, did I already make it? Book it? No I didn't. Oh, Kota Ibushi was injured on Raw. That's right. That is right. I am dumb. He was injured on Raw. I didn't pre-book it yet. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and tune in Saturday for SummerSlam.